What's up everyone? Welcome back. New video on the channel. Welcome to a new trial video. It's, uh, it's been actually a little while. I actually recorded one of these the other week and it just didn't turn out that great. So I thought maybe this week we could try something to see if it was, uh, if it was any decent. So what I want to try and do for today's video is I want to try the new trial, which you get your 10 points from if I just do this. Uh, it is also an off-road slash rally trial and you have to use European super saloons so i thought in today's video we'll build one from scratch and use it so let's have a quick look if i am correct this is an off-road one dirt or rally or whatever you want to call it so we'll try and win against the unbeatable driver tires and hopefully fingers crossed we actually have a solid team it's super 50 50 with this if we actually do have a solid team or not also if you're new to the channel click that subscribe button because it helps out a lot plus a lot of you guys that are watching the video right now are actually not subscribed to the channel so maybe you just found the video in your recommended or on your homepage and you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button it helps a lot and uh, like the video if you enjoyed it so super saloons is what we're gonna go with uh, i'm gonna try to pick a car that we haven't built before for rally racing um i mean we'll see if i have one built for rally racing could do the alpha alpha would be an interesting choice here uh, it has to be an a class as well um bunch of beamers that we have i think this one i ended up using for dirt racing it's actually not that bad. Um, and all them, they are not. Jag is European. You can try to use Jag, maybe. Uh, Mercedes, we have a few of them. I, I actually ended up using this as well for one of the events. We could use this new SL63 for one of the events. We could try that. I used this before. MG is not European anymore, but I think it still qualifies as European. And then we could also try. Oh, should we pick a Volvo? I'm down to pick a Volvo. We could pick this, uh, this V60 Polestar. I do have to all-wheel drive swap it, though. This should be interesting. We could do something like this. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's hit him with the Volvo. Let's hit him with the Volvo. It's still European, but it's just not German. <laughs> so let's uh, let's build this Volvo up all the way up to A-Class for dirt racing. Just see what's really available for it. And, uh, and then we go from there. Um, okay, let me mute my phone. Okay, cool. I could technically even leave this thing as a front-wheel drive, but do I really want to? I don't think it's worth leaving it as a front-wheel drive. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, that was all-wheel drive as standard. Oh, never mind. I thought this was front-wheel drive as standard. Oh, much better. I don't really have to worry about any of that at all. It is very heavy, so let's lighten it up a little bit. Suspension as well. Off-road suspension. Uh, anti roll bars don't do anything for PI, so we just add them on anyway, because that helps a lot. Uh, we could up upgrade our brakes. We could do that. Um, anything else here that we can really change? Clutch and transmission is actually quite a useful thing. And then I'm going to buy a diff as well, which we can then change afterwards. And I think now I could just slap a lot of power into this thing. Actually, could do this as well. Because it drops my PI, but also it gives me a lot of grip around corners and that. So let's do that. We could have... Should I even enter swap this thing? There's so many options, so many things available. Hmm. I'm uh, kind of tempted, to be honest with you. For a class, this the, we can be, like this goes hard. For a class, like there's a there's a lot of potential with that. Um. Let's see. Seven nine nine. 799 that the most we can get out of this thing I don't think there's anything else I can really change on it to, to go slightly higher Flywheel there you go cool brilliant. We have a flywheel done. I guess that's our build 535 horsepower And weighs 1348 kilos. That's very lightweight. It's got a lot of power. I think we should be fun with this uh, We should be fun. We should be fine with this. We should have uh, quite a decent amount of fun with this thing Okay um, I'm going to slap a little bit of a tune on this thing and then we'll, we'll go search. Alright, event starting in 15 seconds. Let's hit it. It is quite quick. Lots of roll from the special because that's the way I built it. It does seem to want to take orders very quickly though. Which is a very good thing. Even on road. Like it just crips up. <laughs> I just don't think this will have a lot of power but... The way I built it, it seems good. Definitely good enough. 
We do have a portion of this this track that will be on the road itself. Oh man, this thing has so much grip. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's hit him with it. Volvo V60 Polestar. Let's go. I feel like I'm gonna dominate with this car. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> That's just I built a really good car. Let's see if uh, if anybody else here is is able to keep up. Okay. It's just such an interesting car to have built, right? <laughs> it's called Super Saloons, and we have we have an estate car. I mean, whatever. I wonder what people are gonna use for this, though. I've never actually like built something from scratch like this. We just have a bunch of Germans, like Saudis and a Beamer, and I'm the only one in the Volvo. This is gonna be fun. I can already tell this is gonna be so much fun. I feel like these guys have got to, just got to give themselves like a silly amount of power and that's it. Okay. The Audi RS4 from our team has absolutely nothing done to it, I think. So let's just say it's 710. Apart from that, I feel like we have some, some decent people on, on our team. Let's just hope that they're good drivers as well. Even though, even though these guys could have built cars on my team. They could have just slapped this stupid amount of horsepower and have like a thousand horsepower and nothing else into them. Started strong. Starting off very strong. I am running away already. Let's carry my team to victory. Oh my god, this Volvo is sick. Get out of the way, Tegan. Also, I'm not going to play clean. Not against driver tires. I don't care about the driver tires. I'll try to play clean against my teammates, though. Oh, I tried to clip his back end and just push him out a little bit. I kind of want to take the driver tires out, right? That's the that's the goal for this. You, you want to try and have the driver tires in... in a sticky position, so... Your teammates can actually catch up to you. It's fine. There's three laps of this. I'm already in third place. I'm kind of even holding back a little bit. So it's all good. Here, I think. I was going to say, I think I can go flat out, but I definitely don't think I can go flat out there. But yeah, these drive are easy to beat. Okay, as soon as I get in front of William here. Ooh, good. As soon as I get in front of William here, I will start slowing down. Meaning, I will start doing stuff like that. I just need to get in front of him. <laughs> I'm worrying too much about what the Audi's doing, and not, not enough about what I'm doing. So let's try catch up. Whatever it takes. There's always that one guy. God, man, I don't have. I, this is a bad team that I have. I'm not a fan of this team. I'm not a fan of this team at all, man. These guys are just falling behind. Someone's left already. How much do I need to slow down? I just want to get in front of William and then I'll start slowing down. Oh, why do I always pull to the right there? Right at the very end. I think I might leave William to just go ahead, but I need to get let these guys catch up. At least the, the DJ Palos guy. And Ahmad. Try to get those guys to, at the very least, catch up. This is giving me, like, Forza Motorsport vibes. Where you have... You have one car just flying ahead of everyone else. Like, one AI. Perfect. We got him. Really? That didn't do anything to him. Alright, let's try to slow these guys down. I 
Oh man, this is hard. If th these guys aren't even trying, like I'm trying to slow the tr these people down from their team, but it's like my teammates aren't even trying. They're not even bothered. Like, what's the point? Oh, um, I knew this was gonna happen. I, I'm telling you, it's like a 50-50 chance that you actually get a good team or a bad team. There's no like in between. Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this again. I'm genuinely gonna have to do this again with a different team. I'm trying to slow down so I can obviously, you know, slow the AI down so these guys can catch up. Oh no, this is gonna be a disaster. 13 seconds slower. What are you doing? Oh, what could I even do here? We need at least one or two of these guys to leave. I can get into first place and get all the points needed. But I don't know about the rest of these guys. <sighs> Come on. Come on. It has to be something, right? It has to be. Something that these guys can do is get to get better times. AI is not going to change. AI is going to be the same. These guys just need to drive better. That's, that's literally just the only thing. You just need to have these guys drive better. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, guys. You have to. You have to drive better. I've spawned further at the back, which doesn't make any difference whatsoever by the looks of things with this car. Because it shoots off the line very quickly. Nobody else is left. This is a really high speed track as well. I think I can smoke the AI instantly on it. Then I just so somehow have to either push them out of the zones or slow them down or something. I don't know. We'll see. Go, Mark. Go. Go, 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 go. Just smack into them. It doesn't matter. Just go. Yes, Pablo. Or Palo. Sorry. Go. Go get him. No way he missed the checkpoint. Oh, he's left the game. No, he hasn't. I thought he left the game. Wait, someone left, though. This is actually not too bad, though. This positioning. If I just get myself into... If I get myself now at the first place, I think we can win this. Okay, someone else is left. Oh, this is perfect. I'll pull this back on my own. I don't even care. Crash into the walls and everything. Oh, God. I'll pull this back. Why does the Audi have so much more grip in corners than I do? It's alright. Okay, full speed now. Full speed. I just hope my teammates don't mess up here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. William's getting taken down pretty easily. There he goes. See you later, William. We're in the lead. Now catch up to the other guys. Goodbye. Come on. We can pull this back from the depths. Okay, on the road it does it does slip quite a bit. Try to try to take the corners like that, it does it does actually slip quite a bit. But I didn't build this thing to go to be good on road. I built it to be good off road. Oh guys, you have to put a bit more of an effort in. Just a little bit more. Oh, push your slow. What are you doing? Oh, please get out of the way. 
I'm so slow. I'm not catching the Steven guy, I don't think. And even if I am, I think on road he's gonna have me. Oh god, I'm the sim steering off road as well, again. I always forget. I always forget to turn it off. That's fine. If, you, if these guys just keep their position, it's perfect. We've done it. But just please keep your positions. Please. I think I need to make my car more rear biased. It's getting a bit of understeer. With some of the corners. Please, just keep those positions. Don't fall down any sort of spots here. That could be good. We could have one more chance now with this. Please. Please. Second place is terrible still. But please. My driving could be so much better as well. Because I'm driving so poorly. Do we have it? Can't believe the guy that in the non... In the, like, the stock RS4 is still around. Bro, how far behind is he? Oh, here they come. We live, we live one more, we, we're still alive for one more race. How did we have the DNA from their team? What happened? I think it's due to the, to the fact of the rubber banding. I think that the, the guys at the bottom of their team were trying to kind of keep around the same position as the guys from my team. So, <laughs> so I think the rubber banding just made those three guys just DNF because the guy in the RS4 was just so far behind. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We go again. I'm actually going to try to get first place this time. And stay, stay in first place. Sprint race has got to be a little bit more difficult from my end. Because this is definitely built to grip around corners very quickly. I mean, here's the thing, right? I probably should have gotten rid of, it, of the arrow. Arrow slows me down. But then again. Like, how was I supposed to know what actual tracks are we doing? Except for one of them, which is the very first one. You, you have no reason to break. You have no reason to slow down. Just floor it. I don't want to crash into you and do anything stupid. So, just go for it. Good, good. Just take the AI out. Go, 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 go. I'll give you a nudge. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. You'd love to see it. Just don't mess up now. Oh, God. Go slow. You don't really slow. I'll go past you. Just don't mess up there. Okay. I'm gonna try also not crash into him, so I'm gonna take super wide line. I'm trying not to mess with him at all. So he has the best chances of staying ahead. He's doing alright now. He's doing alright. We absolutely smoked past these drive tires. He's definitely faster than me um, on the road, I'll tell you that. But again, like I said, this thing is not made to be fast. This is made to, like, grip really hard. Just don't crash into me. You can go around me if you want. I knew he was going to do that. That's why he stayed really far wide. He didn't aim for me. He just braked really late. It's good. It is good. Absolutely destroy the driver tires. This is perfect. Poor guy in the RS4. It's just still in last place, but it's fine. As long as this guy in the Merc is still here, yep, yeah, and he's miles ahead of everyone else. I can't believe we find we've we've actually done it. The dead weight from our team fell off. We all disconnected. It was just me and this guy in the mark. That was a lot easier than what I thought it was going to be. That, was, that, that final race. It's, it's like the drive there is kind of like laid back. I, I don't know. It's just weird because for some events, obviously, you saw them being like super OP. And then for other ones, they were just like kind of oddly like slow like this one. Which is bad. Anyway, doesn't matter. We'll take it.
Is everyone gonna finish? RS4 guy? Is he actually gonna finish? There you go. No DNFs. I actually ended up doing it, completing it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do these trials every week if you guys wanna see them. Uh, just building a completely brand new car from the bottom. A car that, like, obviously I don't know how to drive or what it's like. No test driving or anything like that. You just kind of build it and go. I'm down to do this more in the future because it just makes it kind of interesting. Like, because a lot of the time I just use whatever cars I already have built. I don't really try to, to build a brand new car, so. Yeah. Volvo actually did all right. The only thing that would probably change on it, especially for those races, is try to give it more power, have a higher top speed. Because, as you saw, the, uh, like, for some events, obviously, I was just, I was just slow. I mean, this thing grips really well around corners that are tight, but not around, like, really long corners, or even corners that are, like, you need, like, a lot of speed to go around. And I think I probably would have made this a little bit more rear-biased as well. Because it kind of understeers a tiny, tiny bit. Apart from that, really good car. I don't, I don't mind it at all. Alright, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.